welcome back to the channel so today we are here to discuss about quantitative aptitude and general mental ability for our upcoming APFC and enforcement officer examination so many of you are requesting like how to proceed with this section of quant and general mental ability so in this video we'll do the analysis of past questions which were asked in previous examinations and we'll try to devise a strategic kind of thing like how to proceed with this section so let us begin with the video so what is the syllabus so in case of enforcement officer it is written general mental ability and quantitative aptitude whereas in case of apfc it is told elementary mathematics statistics and general mental ability so this general mental ability is common to both the exams of enforcement officer and apfc whereas in case of apfc we have to prepare additional topics of statistics where questions have been asked from the topic mean mode and standard deviation so while preparing statistics the focus should be on preparing these topics of mean mode and standard deviation and basic questions are expected from these topics of statistics as far as elementary mathematics is considered uh, school level class questions are being asked from these topics regarding uh, integers and all those things whereas general mental ability is what we have in every examination syllabus so this is what is defined in syllabus now considering the weightage of questions so in apfc 2012 there were total eight questions which were asked from this topic we had seven questions from general mental ability and one question from statistics in case of apfc 2015 we had 28 questions from general mental ability and elementary mathematics and three questions from statistics so total 31 questions came from this topic out of out of 120 in apfc 2015-16 in enforcement officer 2017 we had 15 questions and in 2021 we had 16 questions so around 15 questions are being asked from this topic is what we can assume except in year 2015 so last time when apfc exam was held there were around 30 31 questions which came from this topic as such remember weightage is not clearly defined for any subject like last time they asked so many questions from quantitative aptitude this year we may get only 10 questions from this topic so as such weightage is not evenly distributed but we have to prepare now what chapters or what topics to be prepared so when we do the analysis of these four question papers of apfc and enforcement officer we came to realization that there are these chapters or topics which are repeated every time when paper was conducted so from number series we have got question every year like two to three questions have been asked in enforcement officer examination then we have average chapter on average so we got questions here you can see the distribution of it then from profit and loss we got two two questions then area like mensuration part 2d part we got questions every time so in 2016 apfc we got four questions from this topic of area that is mensuration 2d in case of mensuration 3d that is volume and surface area we again got questions from these topics and then there is speed time and distance we got questions from this topic so based on my understanding and my level of analysis i can tell you that these are the important chapters which have got questions repeated consistently every time when epfo examination was con conducted and then there are some miscellaneous chapters or topics from where questions were asked in previous examination but they were not repeated consistently some random questions you will find one or two questions from this topic so what are those topics like we have arithmetic progression and arithmetic mean then probability permutation and combination time and work like 15 men and 10 women will complete a particular work in so many days such kind of question then partnership based percentage based question ratio and proportion problems on ages also 
we got questions from this chapter and then some miscellaneous topics like palindrome the number when read from front and back will remain the same we got question on di as well in apfc examination so such kind of questions have been asked from this topic and then there are some questions uh, based on integers or from 1 to 100 how many prime average or prime numbers have been asked so such kind of questions have been asked from these topics but remember these topics have not been repeated we see few instances of questions getting repeated from these topics so while preparing for this topic of quantitative aptitude you have to prepare these first these six seven topics or these six seven chapters and after you have done thorough practice in this topic then only you should proceed to these remaining topics now what is our conclusion from this analysis what points are to be remembered so there is a considerable weightage to quantitative aptitude and general mental ability so we cannot completely ignore this subject now apfc 2002 and 2004 analysis i have not done here but if you see my previous video on channel you will see that we got 23 questions in 2002 and 22 questions in 2004 from this quant and general mental ability so there is no definite weightage but we can expect around 15 questions or 15 plus questions from this topic to be asked in examination so around 15 questions or 15 plus questions can be ex expected now remember this third point there will be total 120 questions which we will have to attempt in 120 minutes that is 2 hours so time management becomes crucial here lengthy questions can be skipped or if time is remained so you can solve them at the end the questions which are quite lengthy while reading so this question we need not invest much time reading those questions and analyzing like what is asked in that particular question our target should be to attempt simple aptitude questions first like we got some question on profit and loss then speed time and distance or some percentage problem so these questions can be attempted very easily with 100 percent accuracy so our target should be to attempt these questions first while doing preparation important chapter should be covered first like i gave you that table from where questions have been repeated every time so while preparing you have to cover those chapters first with good amount of practice only after that you can move to the other topics at times without enough practice we can get stuck on few questions which could be which could consume our crucial time in examination so it is better to skip such questions and improve accuracy in some other subjects or topics like there is uh, no need to attempt all aptitude questions if time is remaining after solving other subject questions then you can come back and attempt those aptitude questions otherwise remember this point four your target should be to attempt the simple ones or the simple aptitude questions first with 100 percent accuracy and then later on you can come back and solve the remaining questions which were quite lengthy or difficult to attempt so this should be the approach while preparing for quantitative aptitude so that's it from today's video if you have any doubt you can ask in comment box as far as sources are considered you can watch any youtube videos playlist for preparing these topics but remember this requires practice without enough practice you will not be able to attempt questions in actual examination thank you very much